children, but Santa won't be here until you and Ann are sleeping. Good night, Ann. Good night, good night, Mommy and Daddy. Mommy. Mommy, say good night to Daddy for me. Good night. All right, I'll tell him good night for both of you. Mommy, can I drink of water? You've had a drink already. Now, children, it's time to go to sleep. Oh, Dick, I wonder if Santa ever got our letter. Yes, Anne. Far up at the North Pole, Santa is reading your letter now. I'll say no letters. I think I'll send for them in my magic helicopter. Oh, Toby, come here. What do you want, Santa? Toby, take my magic helicopter and bring the two children here to visit me. Mind you, you must hurry, for my time is short before I make the long Christmas Eve trip. Your own words are my command, Santa. Short hop in the magic helicopter. There it is. Santa's castle at the North Pole. Hold tight, kids. We're coming in for a snowy landing. Before you know it, Dick and Ann are hurried to the castle entrance. And see the busy elves hurrying to and fro. I'm very glad you came to see me. Yeah, wait a minute. Sit on my lap and let me tell you about Santa, but you might not know. The children are amazed. Here they are, sitting on Santa's lap and listening intently as Santa explains that every year, just before Thanksgiving, he starts the merry Yuletide by visiting towns and cities all over the world. Always ready to please little children, he makes his jolly trip in many different ways. He arrives on river boats and finds many new friends all along the way. Wherever he goes, he always has loads of fun. Oh yes, in many towns, the marching bands turn out and step lively to the merry Christmas tunes. The little elves parade too. Now isn't that nice? They even have a big mailbox to help Santa collect his letters from the boys and girls. See that chimney? I'll let you in on a little secret. Santa almost didn't fit in it, and Mrs. Santa Claus has informed him that he must stop eating so much. With all the big new shopping centers opening everywhere, Santa has to use his new rock to get around, but he still uses his reindeer on Christmas Eve. They can get him just anywhere, and he's so proud of them, too. Since Dick and Ann are visiting him, no trip to Santa Land would be complete without a tour of the village toy shop. The good little elves have a miniature town and in every window have little toy people jumping around. 
Here they make the tinsel and the Christmas tree ornaments. In this little store, they make the ribbon. Turn out the wreaths and make your home so bright and cheery. It fills the air with Christmas spirit. Here are the little girls. Dolls are dressed with fine and fancy stitch. And oh yes, baby brother is quite a helper too. Every doll must have a head and also have a body. These busy elves on spinning lays turn out the long thin bodies, while others paint their saucy faces and put them all together. Hard-working elves and Santa too like pies and cakes and cookies. This little store delights in making all those yum-yum goodies. A tour of Santa's Happy Land would not be quite complete without a visit to his big toy warehouse, not far from the street. There's gifts and toys for everyone. It's really a big treat. There's bears and dogs and cats galore. There's lions, tigers too. They won't bite and they don't fight because they're just made for you. Those busy elves are everywhere and Santa needs them too. You wind them up, you turn them on, those funny little toys. The monkey drums and drums and drums and he never does get tired. Our old mother bear, she scrubs and rubs. While Junior telephones, he'd rather talk the whole day through than do a lick of work. For little girls, a doll is fun to wash, to dress, and spank. And Santa has a big supply of every kind and type. How Ann enjoy these pretty dolls, and Dick shows no delight. A kitchen full of household toys will keep the youngster busy. She'll cook and scrub the whole day long, then serve a TV dinner. Okay, wizard, this is ready to be packed. All children like to make some noise, and Santa says it's music. A toy piano or a drum will give them hours of fun. The older children like to build, and here's a boat to prove it. For Dick and Ann, their visit's almost over, but Santa saved his pride and joy till last. We'll take his rocket to the Super Toy Town trains. All aboard! Whoosh! And here we are. Now, wasn't that fun? It's just a few steps from the rocket to a breathtaking view of Santa's wonderful trains. I wonder if Ann will be as excited as Dick. There's trains of all kinds, coming and going, starting and stopping, logging trains, freight trains, streamliners, old-time choo-choos. I'll bet Daddy would enjoy this too. Look at that village. There must be a whole town of toy houses. Look out, children. Don't let that train run over you. And look, a toy circus with sideshows and a big three-ring circus tent. Did you ever see such a wonderful show? Look at that. 
that's Circus Parade. Santa, do these trains ever wreck? They do. Gosh, that's fun. Oh, no wrecks today. This is loads of fun. We could watch them for hours. Look, a toy coal mine. Do we really have to leave, Santa? It's time to go back home. We have certainly enjoyed it, but we know that you have to start on your long journey. I'm so glad you came. Dick and Ed, always remember the entire Christmas celebration is to commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ hundreds of years ago in the wonderful spirit of Christmas. His goodwill on... Hurry home with Toby. Bye. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas to all! Merry Christmas!